Jai Gurudev, Michael, it is great to have you here. Can you share some insights into your journey with the art of living and how your book Stumbling into Inf- Infinity came about? Sure, it is a pleasure to be here. The journey with the art of living has been transformative for me. Writing Stumbling, Stumbling into Infinity was a deeply personal process. Initially, my sister's feedback made me realize that my portrayal might have caused some misunderstandings. I had to rewrite it multiple times to ensure it accurately reflected the experiences and teachings I wanted to convey. That sounds challenging. How did people receive the book when it was finally published? The response was overwhelmingly positive when the book was released. Many people bought it and carried it with them. Gurudev too showed interest. He took a copy with him on a trip to Poland and Russia. I later learned that he read the book on the plane and discussed it with others. Despite his usual claim of never reading a book from cover to cover, I know he went to stumbling into infinity thoroughly. Did Gurudev have any feedback for you after reading the book? Yes, he did. He called me and pointed out some changes that needed to be made. Initially, I was disheartened because I had just completed and published it, but his feedback was invaluable. It was probably the hardest thing I have ever done, but it made me a better writer. In America, spirituality and the concept of a guru are often misunderstood, so I wanted the book to provide a Western perspective on these topics. Can you share a memorable experience from one of your early silence courses with Gurudev? Absolutely. My first silence course was a small one with just 60 people. Gurudev emphasized drinking water to flush out toxins, so I was constantly running to the toilet. During one session, he announced the process and as usual, I ran to the bathroom. When I returned, I found everyone standing and facing the bathroom door. As soon as I opened it, they all gave me a standing ovation. It was such a humongous and touching moment orchestrated by Gurudev, making me feel incredibly loved and accepted. How do you perceive? Gurudev's role in your life now. For me, Gurudev is everything. Despite his busy schedule, he always finds time for those who need it. Whether you are a long-time follower or a newcomer, if you truly need his attention, you will get it. Have you have there been times when you felt Gurudev wasn't paying attention to your personal issues? There was an instance recently when I was struggling with a severe digestive issue. I approached Gurudev in Los Angeles, but he seemed distracted checking his phone while I was speaking. Initially, it was frustrating because no doctor could help me. And I desperately needed his guidance, but later I realized that even if he seemed distracted, his presence and indirect guidance were helping me in ways I didn't immediately understand. That's intriguing. Intriguing. How did you eventually feel about his indirect approach? It was enlightening. Gurudev showed me an email about temples in India and their alignment with chakras, indirectly hinting at deeper spiritual insights related to my condition. Over time, I realized that his seemingly indirect approach was part of a larger lesson in patience and trust. Michael, thank you for sharing these profound experiences. Your journey and insights offer a lot of inspiration to those on the spiritual path. Thank you. I hope my experiences in the book can help others navigate their own spiritual journeys and find the peace and understanding they seek. Jai Gurudev.